Hey y'all, it's your friend D, and in today's video, we're going to be making a Mardi Gras costume, but not just any Mardi Gras costume, Zulu. Now, the Zulu crew has very distinctive elements to their costumes, and we're going to try to incorporate all of those in the costume for our doll. Now, I don't know what direction I'm going with this costume. I thought I did. I started to sketch something out, and then I trashed that. So we're just going to go where the New Orleans spirit leads us. So let's get into this, guys. So guys, here I'm starting to sketch out my headdress for the costume. And I'm just using a Barbie headband to make my um, opening to make sure I have it a good size for the doll's head. So I just thought that would be useful to help me get started. And here I'm just trying to sketch out uh, what design I want and just play around and figure out what this is going to be. So guys, I'm at a point where I just realized I messed up. I really should have gotten my protractor out and drew where I wanted my border to be around this so I can make sure that all of my designs in here were the same distance from the base of the head uh, this piece, which is going to sit around the doll's head, from the base of that piece to the edge of where the headdress is going to stop. So, yeah, I don't think I want to start over. So, I'm going to try to salvage this because I need this side and this side to be symmetrical or, you know, as similar as possible um, since I am freehanding it. So, guys, I went back and I drew a border around. And I think that's going to help me uh, out a lot. Because as you can see, I was well past that over here. So I'm going to have to go back and draw these in a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to help me get it all looking very symmetrical on both sides. So guys, I got the other side uh, sketched out. And these lines definitely helped me match with matching the design. But now that I have both sides, I'm really liking the way it's looking. And yeah, um, so I'm going to have to build this up and make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, so I'm going to cut out about three or four more pieces, just the overall shape of it, not the individual designs here, but the overall shape, glue that down, and we'll just have a, a bit of a sturdier piece for when I go to paint. So guys, I have all of my extra parts um, cut out. I did three more. So all of these be glued together. And I did make a few changes to this. I had to trim in a little bit more um, to make it fit good on the doll's head. And also the circle here, I had originally planned to put a gemstone or you know rhinestone in it. And I decided to go with the Z instead because, you know, since we're making someone who's with the Zulu crew, you're used to seeing that Z on their costumes. Is either on their headpiece or on their aprons. So I decided to put it on the headpiece. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the doll. So it would fit on her head. So it would fit on her like that. And so, of course, we're going to paint it and do some other things to it. But I'm thinking it's fitting pretty good. And for the rest of the costume... So the Zulus are also known to wear grass skirts doing Mardi Gras. And I could not find any material to make a grass skirt out of. I think that usually comes out around summertime. You can find it at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be using just some yellow paper. This is actually resume paper. I thought it gave a, uh, had a good color. It looked like straw. So I'm going to be trying to make my grass skirt out of this. Also... I wanted some kind of decorative piece on the front of the doll. And a lot of the videos and the photos that I saw of the Mardi Gras parade with the Zulu costumes, uh, several of them had decorative aprons on. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with that idea. So I'm going to go with a longer apron, more like a breastplate that goes down to her feet. And I'll decorate that. And then we'll have the grass skirt underneath. So, let's see what I can come up with. So, guys, I got the apron done, and I wanted to keep it pretty simple compared to the headpiece. Um, but I did want them to noticeably be a matching set. 
So there are some elements of the headpiece in the apron. And so the apron will fit on top of the rest of her costume like this. So, um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that, with the design. I might round this, this top part off a little bit more. But overall, I'm happy with the way it looks. And it, it is pretty long. I want it to be almost touching the floor. But, yeah, I'm happy with this. So now to make our grass skirt, I'm going to see how much... I wonder if I can run it through, through my shredder. I'll be back. I'm going to try that. <laughs> so it didn't work. <laughs> In theory, it was a good plan, but when I put the paper in and then tried to reverse it back out, it snapped the ends off. So it looks like I'm going to be using scissors, guys. I tried. So guys, I think this is going to work for my grass skirt. I'm, I'm liking the way it looks. Um, so this is just one sheet of that resume paper. And I trimmed about, I think it was one inch off the long side. So yeah, and I just went through and just cut all of these little um, slits in it. And I think that's going to work out really good underneath all the other pieces. So, guys, I think I'm at the point where I can start painting these two pieces. Um, I did do a few things off camera. I had to let uh, these pieces dry because I glued all of those extra ones together to make it a little bit um, more sturdy. And I also made it just a simple tube dress for the doll. Just a rectangle of fabric with some elastic around the top to help hold it up. I just wanted her to have something underneath the costume because this wasn't going to give full coverage. <laughs> so um, that was just something simple I made off camera. Easy. There's so many videos out there on how to make this. I didn't think I needed to add to that. So um, I'm going to start painting these pieces and we'll be back. So guys, here's the progress on both of these pieces. I have one coat of paint on both of them. And I think that might be all I need. So guys, I have the green and gold glitter on. I'm still waiting for the gold glitter, uh, the glue to dry. But as you can see, it kind of got a little messy in the center. You can't really see my Z that's in the middle of there. But once I go back and put the purple glitter around it, it should stand out a little bit more. The apron part, I went ahead and glued it to another piece of uh, paperboard so that it could kind of help control the bending on it. And I think it came out um, really good. So I'll cut this out once the gold glitter um, has had time to sit and dry. So guys, while we're waiting for the glitter and glue mixture to dry on the costume pieces, let's work on our backdrop. So I have a piece of leftover poster board. Uh, this is 30 inches across and 14 inches in height. So guys, I really want to use this purple paper on my walls. And I'm sorry, I'm trying not to blind you guys. Um, there we go. So I don't know if I have enough of it. But I really think it's pretty and it gives me Mardi Gras vibes. So just in case I don't have enough of that, I found this metallic gold metallic uh, table cover at the Dollar Tree. So we'll use that um, if I have any spaces that I need to fill in. So let's see what I can come up with. So guys, I have the purple and gold paper on my backdrop and it's a lot, but I I'm gonna trust myself and just keep going with it. I have this vision in my head. So let let's see what we can do with this. I have these two headbands that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I think I want to take off uh, the top portions of them and put them on the walls. So I got those up. I love the way it's looking right now. Now, what would Mardi Gras be without the beads? So I'm going to be using some Dollar Tree beads. And I think I'm going to just drape them around the top uh, here. So let's see what that looks like. So guys, I'm loving the way this is looking right now. But I want to add uh, a few more things because it's Mardi Gras. So we have to go over the top. So I have these bows that I got from the Dollar Tree. 
They're just the bows that you would put on a, a present. So I got two different green ones and I got this gold. So I'm gonna see what I can make happen with these. So guys, here we are. I, I decided only to use these uh, bows. I like the way they look uh, better than the really shiny ones. Like I figured we have too much of this gold already in the scene and this also i just wasn't feeling it i just thought these bows looked better and i really like the ones that are up here the ones on the bottom i'm not too sure of yet but i'm gonna leave them i didn't stick those um in place so i'm gonna leave them for now and we'll see at the end if i keep those so now that our backdrop is done i'm gonna go back to working on the costume so the glitter and glue has dried in place, and I did go back and put the purple in. Um, you can't really see the Z in the middle, but that's okay. We'll work with it. Now, I did buy purple rhinestones to add to these pieces, but I think I left them in the bag when I got home and accidentally threw them away. So, I mean, it is what it is. So we're just going to have to be resourceful and, and, and try to work with something else. So I still have one of these left over from uh, the backdrop. And I think I'm going to cut off the little beads and see if I can use those. So let's see if it works. Guys, the little beads from the necklace worked out really well. I like the way it looked. So here's the headpiece. Here's the apron. And I did do an extra piece as an afterthought. This little round piece is going to be on her back, and I'll have feathers coming out around it. So I'm not going to add sequins onto this um, just yet. I, I'll probably just leave it just the gold. I'm letting the paint dry right now. And that's why it's on this paper. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys uh, the feathers I'm going to use and how I'm going to attach it to the doll. So I'm using these feathers from Michael's. If you can get the boas from the Dollar Tree, that, you know, that'll save you some money. But my Dollar Tree was completely out of them. Also got this pack of green feathers. So to attach the pieces to the doll, I'm just going to use ribbon. I didn't have any ribbon in the colors um, green, gold, or purple. But I do have this really pretty, like, uh, iridescent ribbon. And I think it'll work. And it won't really be seen once the costume is on. So that's how I'm going to attach it. And I'll be back once I attach the ribbon and the feathers. Oh, and guys, really quick. I did uh, make another piece for the head dress. And this is going to go on the back. So it'll go like this. If you can see my trail mix box. <laughs> Um, like this, just to give uh, the headdress a little bit extra support on the doll's head. And I'll attach the ribbon around this, and th this is how we'll tie it onto the doll's head. So guys, I have the feathers on and the straps to hold it in place. Um, so the back of it is not pretty, but it's going to serve its purpose. I just hot glued the straps here. And I know I could have used Velcro and, and made like some shoulder straps, but... I just wanted to do this uh, and just simply tie them in place. And this is the back piece. So, um, yeah, I just left that gold. I didn't put any glitter on it. And here's the head piece. And I added that extra piece of card. Sorry, guys, I have my hot glue <laughs> uh, thingy on. <laughs> but I added this extra piece right here. Um, just to give the headpiece some more support, and I just glued the straps onto that. So guys, what would be a Zulu crew member if you did not have the coconut? So I just took some of this base filler and just painted a Z on one of them, and this is gonna be our little coconut. And I have glitter everywhere. So guys, I'm preparing to dress Tanya in her costume, and she has on her tube dress that's going to be underneath and I put her hair in a bonnet. This is just to cut down on the amount of uh, glitter that's going to get in her hair. On her feet, she just has these simple Barbie sandals. Um, I'm not sure how heavy this costume is going to be. So I just figured 
flats would make it easier for me to uh, stand her up in the costume. Now, the very last thing I have to do to prepare the doll for the costume is the Iconic Zulu makeup. Now, I did not want to paint her face, even with acrylic paint, because I was afraid it would stain, because I actually have a little bit of staining on my finger from uh, some paint. And so, I think I have a way of doing this without causing damage to my doll. So guys, for the face makeup, I'm going to try this contact paper because it doesn't leave a residue. It's what I have on my craft table. And so I'm going to try this, just cut out some of the white portion of it. And I did do a test um, on one of my dolls. So this doll has a skin tone that's close to Tanja's. And so I stuck a piece on her and it's been on her for a couple of hours now. So I'm going to peel it off and see if it left a residue. So guys, it came off clean. It didn't take off her eyebrow because I made sure to put it partly on her eyebrow just to see what would happen. And um, it didn't do anything. And I'm happy because I just got this doll for Christmas. But this was the closest one I had to Tanja's uh, skin tone. And so yeah, so we're going to go move forward with the sticky contact paper. So guys, here's the finished costume, and I love everything. I, I'm so excited with this. Um, I love the background. When I started this project, I wasn't sure how I was going to execute all of this, but I think it came out pretty good. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, and also leave a comment. Let me know if there's any tips or tricks that you think I should try next time, because there will be a next time. I'm thinking next year I'll make it out of fabric, but I don't know yet. I have a full year to think this through. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.